overshooting your training, trying to force yourself to get the absolute most possible growth in a time span for the majority of people, 99.9%, let's just say 100, for everyone but the elite, constantly trying to overshoot or get and squeeze every little bit out leaves you for this very large potential of overshooting, of losing progress, of not constantly making progress. That one extra set that you thought you could fit in to the, the fatigue management ratio of when you would come back and train again and you don't progressively overload. Well, guess what? That's an entire week or however long it took you to get back to that session that you missed out on growth. Right. You missed out on growth. If I play it conservatively and I train to failure, or rather if you, the non-elite, and that's not an insult, if you train consistently to failure and progressively overload and not try to overreach, you could guarantee the progress you made from week to week to week to week to week. It's almost guaranteed. Trying to squeeze every little bitty drop out of it you can is going to lead you to overshoot and not make as much progress in the end. You are going to chase your tail all around the place. And when you overtrain, you're not making progress. And you can even go backwards. And if you stack up too much fatigue like that chronically, you know, you get some good weeks, you get some bad weeks, and you're running that red line so hard. You know what's the next thing that's going to happen? You're going to break gonna some happen? shit. Say again, Gage. What's going to happen? You're going to break. You're going to snap city. Snap motherfucking <laughs> city. You're going to throw a rod. You're going to blow a gasket. You're taking the, the, the subway down to snap city. That happened to me. <laughs> that's why I'm laughing. That's exactly right. What was Alberto doing? He was adding in intensity modifiers to try to make really? sure he got everything possible. Yeah. Neurotic yeah, about it. I must succeed. Trying to get every little bit in. Trying to come to the gym and train as much as possible, as often as possible. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, his plate was too full and he dropped it. You're pushing for all that progress, guys, and you get injured. Nothing's it happening sucks. until you're fully recovered. Yeah. But yeah. That's how you learn, man. Mike Menser said that high intensity is like jumping into the fire, but then getting out of there. You can't stay there for too long. You get burned. And that's exactly what happened to me. You know, I stay in because it's you feel so powerful. You have the adrenaline, and then you're like, ah, more, more, and uh, bad. That was that was that like, like when I first started hit. When I first started yeah. hit last April, I was doing I was doing like four sessions a week doing training hit, and it was it was it was so. I, you know, I'm I'm still young. I'm ambitious. You know, I wanted to get in there and kill it, and I felt good for the first two weeks. You know, like it was I was doing okay, but then, dude, I hit a wall. My, my my energy in the gym sucked. My numbers all went down. It was just, it was so bad. You know, you got to, you can't go all out all the time. You got to give you that recovery. And that's, yes. that's been the biggest change for me personally is you don't have to be in these parameters of so many days per week. I always say like life is the next 50 years. You know, you don't have to box into a week, yeah. train, recover, train again when you're ready. A good rule of thumb for everybody that's not the genetic elite is to rest more days than you train. I think that's a great rule of thumb to ensure that you're recovered and you are able to adapt. High intensity training days should be less number of days than rest days. Absolutely. Rest days can include non-exercise um, aerobic thermodynamics. They can include neat activity. That's not high intense stress. Maybe walking, yeah. maybe. Just and don't put any more stress on your body on those days. You know, you can still do other things. You can still be active. The, the great thing about that is that you grow when you recover. You don't grow at the gym. It's the stimulus. Oh, so the so longer that's, you that's, rest, that, that's when you're growing. <laughs> hey, if I rest more than I train, that's a pretty good guarantee that I'll grow from my training. What we're looking for here is the precise, the least amount of exercise required.